morning, everybody. Uh, sorry, it's a little dark still. Um, yesterday, <laughs> had a little camera malfunction. So, you didn't catch any of the action. Um, there's a little bit of uh, us putting, a, putting them into the alleyway. And then I went and set you guys on a post. And, sorry to tell you, didn't record. So, I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit about what happened. Um, so, our wild cow, Mabel, um, yeah, we had to, so she was almost up into the um, head catch on our squeeze chute and she backed out um, on my alleyway I'm gonna have to fix that because um, I don't have any um, backstops um, they're I'll, I'll put some pictures in the uh, in uh, the film here so you can actually see what they look like But I'm going to have to do that to um, fix my alleyway so she doesn't go all the way back to the back. Um, we broke chains. Um, so I have chains on all of my gates. And um, the first time she hit it, she broke the clevis. And then we got that fixed. And then the next time they hit it, um, they broke the uh, broke the latch. They broke this, and then they broke the clevis part. This one's actually got a chain on it for the clevis, but the other one's just a. It's kind of a weak metal, but it works a little better. We got. She got back up here to the front. Um, I'll show you what she what she bent. We got her up here, up here. So she was she her her nose was in here. Her half well, she was halfway in, and so we shut this gate. Well, this this gate is supposed to come all the way across, and when she it came across. But the, this chain was stuck in here, and so she bent that out. So when it hits, it's not it. It moves more than what it's supposed to. Um, we we had to cut the bottom, the belting off, because it was rubbing on the ground. Um, if you can tell, right here. It's a little bit wider. She bowed that out completely. I know these are only like 10 foot panels, but I'm going to have to um, put uh, uprights like what's right here. This is an upright. I'm going to have to put them every five feet, so one's going to have to be here with a uh, with a stop back here, and then an upright here. Just kind of give it more stability. I might have to put one more back here in this 12 foot section. But that was our adventure. And for me, I was kind of being like a little kid. Um, getting in there trying to push her up there. Um, I was behind this gate at one point. I was behind this gate right here. And she hit that gate so hard it popped the latch, like I showed you. And I was behind that gate trying to hold it. Well, I have bruises on my um, shins from trying to hold that. All of my muscles hurt. Um, she pushed me. So Lily was standing back here in the corner. There's a gate right here in this alley that shuts 
Lily was standing back here and she they she pushed me all the way back into a corner where all I had to do to get out was crawl over top of her and basically stand on top like you know like a bull rider stand on top so that was our adventure yesterday um, and then we we moved bells of hay around there's new, a new stack of bells of hay right there we moved them from right here over to there um, we slid this one over I brought in a whole bunch more for the cows you know a whole bunch more feed I wish the sun would come out today and dry us out so looks like the calves are having fun with trigger over here but Sorry about uh, not seeing our adventure yesterday. I am going to get that fixed though. I do thinking about getting the camera guy to come out and film us or just put you on a tripod. Make sure you're all set up. Maybe get a GoPro and then a tripod so um, so you'll be so you'll have two actions all the time like most everybody else is doing um or just get another camera I do have another uh, camera that I could use I don't know how much film I could use it but I'm gonna get another setup um, so I can use it. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what's going on in the world here. Um, everybody's doing real good. So, I've had a lot of you guys ask um, when does our website open. Um, our website opens on April 1st, April Fool's Day. Um, now I will be taking just orders. Um, I won't have anything ready until end of April. I'm um, sorry, end of May or end of June. Now I'm just doing orders, so. Um, Things like um, um, doing doing um, 
full beef, half beef, quarter. I'm just getting everything planned so I can get an idea of how many animals I'll need to finish out. Um, I've got at least two that are, you know, almost ready to be. I mean, they're, they're finished, but they're almost ready. Um, prices are the same as they were last year. Um, nothing's dropped down. Um, I'm trying to get um, jerky ready. Um, for some reason, I have to have a, a U.S. Um, it, it's a little sticker in the bottom corner of my jerky. Um, I have to have it inspected and everything. So it's kind of on the back burner for right now. I am still trying to get it for um, the middle of May. But I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, Dad's Spices, you can buy them. Um, Reese's Awesome Sauce, we're trying to get the cost still down low where it needs to be. But other than that, um, everything else is still good to go. Um, like I said, beef, if you buy it you know, through April... It will be, you know, end of May, end of June. I've just got to get things worked out. Um, I am trying out a new, a new butcher. Um, he's here local here in St. George. Um, there, I can get some specialty meat from him, but if he's too backed up, um, then we'll still be going with our, our uncle that's in Richfield um, at White's Custom Meats and they don't do anything special so it's just a basic standard cut so there's that and then yeah we'll be in in two weeks we'll be up on the pasture getting things holes dropped uh, drilled, posts laid out, um, T-post, wire, everything. So if you guys want to come along with us and have some fun, um, go to the calendar. I'm going to update that. And it'll tell you everything that you need to know on what you need to bring. Um, and I'll put the dates that we're going. Um, so you guys know but if you guys are coming please send me a text or give me a call on the number that's going to be provided there so I know a, a good head count of who's coming um, now this is like every every weekend so you're not going to miss out on much so have fun Stay safe. God bless, guys. Thank you.